Okay, we are in Pix Insight, and what I'm going to demonstrate now is stacking nonlinear images. These are images that are full light captures. For example, with my Stellina, if you take planet photos or moon photographs, they come in nonlinear. So the first thing we'll do is open Blink. And the blink process allows us to examine our photos. So I'm going to open a folder. And you can see I have these images of the moon. So I'm going to select all of those. And right now this is washed out because it's applying a stretch by default. We'll take that off. You can see as I scan through these, they're basically the same image, just in different positions. We have this first one that's sort of offset, and then these. So I'm probably going to just pick this middle one as a reference. All the images look good. Let's go ahead and open one so you can see what it looks like. We're going to go to raw, moon, this observation, and we'll take this middle one. And we'll go ahead and zoom in full. So you can see pretty good detail, a little bit blurry. Let's go ahead and register these. I'm going to go to script utilities fits registration or FFT I guess registration I'm going to select that reference image then I'm going to add the other images and click OK we can see it's processing down here And now we have our final image. This one is much more clear. So what I'm going to do is dynamic crop. So we'll just grab this edge, bring it in. Grab this edge. Bring that in. bottom to here and the top show you my dynamic crop dialog so we'll check that I'm going to sharpen it so I'm going to do a multi-scale linear transform. And what we're going to do is increase the bias of these layers. So I'm going to do 0.1. And I don't know if this will show up on video, but it's sharpened the details there. We'll do 0.1 here. And then at scale 4, we'll do 0.05. and another 0 0.05 at this scale. This has made a super sharp image. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. We'll go to optimal size. And the last thing is I'll take a look at my curves. Do a preview. and just a slight adjustment there and there you have it that is stacking and processing 
a nonlinear image.